Okay, hello everyone. Guys, there's only one assignment for day 50. This is Monday, the 28th of February. Guys, we're going to go through it right now. Guys, number one, you got to find the vertex axis of symmetry and the x and y intercepts. You're given a graph. So the vertex is right there. Right? Negative 2, negative 1. It's right there. All right, the axis of symmetry goes right through the vertex, up and down. X always equals negative 2. All right, the x-intercepts, where it crosses the x-axis, take a look where it crosses. Negative 3 and negative 1. And the y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis, right there, 3. Okay. Guys, we'll do the same for um, number 2. But this time you're given an equation. All right, this is in vertex form. So the vertex is pretty easy, guys. This says x plus 2. So the x coordinate of the vertex is negative 2. And outside here, that says negative 4. So the y coordinate of the vertex then is negative 4. Again, the opposite of how that reads inside, exactly how that says outside. The axis of symmetry, again, is the x-coordinate of the vertex. Now, the y-intercept, guys, is not negative 4. Negative 4 is the y-coordinate of the vertex, not the y-intercept. So what I did is I took 2 times 2, and I squared 2, so that's 4. And then times 3 is 12. Subtract 4, I got 8. And that's what I did right here. You can multiply that out, but you're just looking for the last number. All right, the next one, again, is also in vertex form, opposite of what the way that reads, minus 4. So the x-coordinate of the vertex is 4. All right, plus 7 on the outside means the y-coordinate of the vertex is 7. All right, the axis of symmetry is the same as the x-coordinate of the vertex. And the y-intercept, again, I multiplied it out. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. But there's a negative in front there. So I put negative 16, then add the 7, I got negative 9. And you can multiply that out if you want, guys. Or look at it. You can put this into Desmos and look at it and see where it crosses the y-axis. You can do that. All right, guys, match each function with its graph. We'll look for the vertex. And this vertex is at 4, 1, 4, 1. So I started looking at 4, 1. This one's at 4, 1, but this is upside down, right? That's negative 1 third. That's upside down. So 4, well, that's negative 4. 4, 1, upside down. So, well, this one looks pretty good. That's it, all right? Again, just double check. It's upside down and go over one, down one third. Looks pretty good. So it's five. This is A. All right, the next one again, same vertex. It's also upside down right here, but it's thin. It's narrow. It's narrow because it's, it goes down faster, over one, down three. This is it right here. This is B, okay? You guys are getting, I could back up a little bit here. All right, number C. Hopefully you guys got that. C, guys, the vertex is different. It's negative 4, 1. Negative 4, 1. It's not upside down. It's right side up. All right, and it's kind of narrow. All right, so 4, 1. Well, that's, ne that's 4. That's not a negative 4, 1. That's too wide. All right, negative 4, 1, negative 4, 1. That's upside down. Right here. Guys, negative 4, 1. It's right side up. Goes up fast, over 1, up 3. That's what we're looking for. This one right here. This is C. 6, okay? All right, number 4. Again, vertex, axis of symmetry, and the y-intercept. You want to find those three things? This is in standard form. 
So we have to use negative b over 2a to find the h. This is the x coordinate of the vertex. All right, so b is, b is negative 2, and a is 1 fourth, 0.25. All right, I multiply that out, I end up with 4. Again, guys, there are four halves in 2. 2 divided by a half is 4. All right, plug in 4 for the x's to find k. I got negative 9. That's the vertex, 4, negative 9, okay? Also, guys, you can put that into Desmos and look at it. See what it looks like. All right, the axis of symmetry is the same as the x coordinate of the vertex, 4. Guys, the y-intercept, just look right at it, negative 5. It's right there. You can look right at this one and find it. All right. Number five, I need a graph with the y-intercept. This is standard form. The y-intercept is 2, and it's upside down. All right, the only y-intercept of 2 is right there. It's the only one with the y-intercept of 2. It's upside down. This one's upside down. And it intercepts up here at like, what is it? 1, 2, 3, up at 3. All right, so it's this one right here. All right, again, I want the x-intercept, axis of symmetry, vertex, y-intercept. They want all this stuff. All right, this is factored form. All right, so the x-intercepts are easy, guys. It's the opposite here. When x is negative 3, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 0. So just take the opposite of how it reads. The x-intercepts are negative 3 and 1. And the axis of symmetry. All right, is right in between negative 3 and 1. So you add up negative 3 plus 1, divide by 2, I get negative 1. That's the axis of symmetry. Now right, you plug that in to find, that's the H. You plug in negative 1 into the original equation to find the K, which is what I did right here, and I found 12. So negative 1, 12 is the vertex. All right, the y-intercept, I can look at the last three. I mean, the, the last, just multiply these three numbers together. Negative 3 times 3 times negative 1, 9. And you can multiply that whole thing out if you want, but you just want the last number. All right, the next one, they give you graphs in intercept form, factored form. So you know that this one's kind of thin because it's the 2. It goes through the x-axis, the x-axis, at negative 1 and 3. Negative 1 and 3. So I looked through these. I found it right here. This goes through negative 1 and 3. It's right side up. It's kind of thin. Over 1, up 2. All right, so this one was 5. This is number 5. I looked at B, it's upside down because there's a negative there. And same thing, it goes to the x-intercept, not the vertex. The x-intercept is negative 1 and 3. All right, so I started looking through here again. I found it right here. Again, negative 1 and 3, upside down, over 1, down 1. All right, this one, the x-intercept is different plus 1, minus 3, plus 1, minus 3. It goes through the x-axis at plus 1 and negative 3. All right, I found it right here. Negative 3 and plus 1 right here. All right, it's a little, kind of wide. It goes over 1, up a half, right there, okay? All right, how do we convert from factored form to standard form? You multiply it out. So I, I foiled this right here. I combine the like terms. All right, so 6x minus 3x is 3x. And I took that negative 2 and distributed it to all three terms. All right.
All right, number nine. Guys, again, how do I convert this to vertex form? This is in standard form. I have to find the vertex. Well, again, h is negative b over 2a. All right, b is negative 10. a is 1, so this is just divided by 2. I got 5. All right, k. I plug it in here. I got negative 19. I plugged in 5 into this original equation. So because this the h is 5, I'm looking for something that says x minus 5 squared. And the outside is negative 19. And I find it right there. All right. Number 10, 